Understand that I want to make a video about Cloak & Dagger Season 2. I really do. But things keep getting in the way. Either it's work, or in this case, a new trailer drop. Because we got a new trailer for Frozen 2, and it's a shorter trailer than the teaser. Wasn't expecting that. Don't trailers usually get sequentially longer? I'm just saying they could have made a longer trailer that was still vague, because obviously they want the real plot of the movie to be shrouded in mystery. I mean, we do know a little bit more about the plot now, but I'll get to that later. Because this movie still looks pretty cool, in both senses of the word. This new trailer starts out with the same scene from the teaser, which when I was watching this for the first time, I was like, all right, all right, we, I've seen this already. Can we get to some new stuff? Fast forward a little bit and Elsa is underwater. She's still trying to get off the shore or go somewhere or test her powers or whatever she's doing. And all of a sudden, this water horse seems to just materialize out of nowhere and it just looks at her and gives her this like kind of scrutinizing look. And when I say water horse, I don't mean the Loch Ness Monster. I mean like a water horse. Apparently, there are actually some Norse legends about this water horse. I looked into it a little bit. I don't know how deep this movie's gonna go into Norwegian folklore, but apparently it According to myth, this horse's name is Nock, N-O-K-K. -K. It uses the power of the ocean to guard the secrets of the forest. I read that and I was like, all right, I don't really see what one has to do with the other. Like, how does it use ocean powers to guard forests on land? I mean, I'm sure it'll make sense when I see the movie, but for now it does kind of have me scratching my head. Looks pretty though. And then we have the return of the rock and roll trolls. I just came up with that. I think that's a good name for them because they look like rocks and they roll. Rock and roll. But yeah, I do like that the trolls are back, and I said in my video about the teaser that I was hoping they would be back, because they know a thing or two about magic, and I rest my case here. And this is where we get into really what the premise of the movie is. Now we finally have a clue. This movie is going to delve into the origins of Elsa's powers. Why was Elsa born with ice powers? Which is interesting, but it also kind of makes me back up and go, whoa, like, okay, you're, you're really delving into this. Because in Frozen 1, it didn't really matter why Elsa had powers. She just did. Or at least it wasn't relevant to the story at the time. I kind Kind of see, like, imagine if there was a sequel to the Iron Giant that delved into where the Iron Giant came from, you know, and, and why he was sent to Earth. If that's what the movie would be about, I guess I would kind of be into it. Not really, though. But it wasn't relevant to the first movie. It doesn't matter where the Iron Giant came from or why he was sent to Earth. It's like, how did the Incredibles get their powers? It doesn't matter. But here in Frozen 2, we're actually diving into that. All right, well, I am interested, I'm not gonna lie. Now it does matter. And the reason it matters is given in the official synopsis, which has been released. Why was Elsa born with powers? The answer is calling her and threatening her kingdom. Okay, well, there you go. Looks like we're actually going to have a villain this time around, or an antagonist of some kind. Maybe it's a natural force, maybe it's some sorcerer somewhere conjuring evil magic. I don't know. I don't really see why a natural force would be evil, unless it's like Hades or something, but that's already been done in a Disney movie, masterfully, I might add. So that's me talking about the premise, but let's talk Talk about some of the snippets we get to see, some of the new stuff we get to see in this trailer. We see this pretty cool, like, it looks like a 2D animation scene, like Elsa's singing, it looks like she's singing anyway. I don't know, like the way her mouth is moving, she's like happy, she's seeing all this stuff around her. What looks like the same water horse from earlier, it's like prancing around her, and it looks like 2D animation underneath that horse, like the lines underneath, they look hand drawn, it looks really cool. But that's another thing I'm curious about though, because Elsa looks like she's singing, we don't really, we haven't heard any of the new music in this movie yet. I imagine this movie's gonna have some songs, you know, because Frozen 1 had songs, it was a musical, I imagine Frozen 2 will be a musical as well. If I had to guess, I'd say the next trailer will have a song, maybe. Hopefully. Don't punk us out, because that's what happened to me with Tangled when it came out. None of the trailers had any songs, so I did not think it would be a musical. After watching the movie, I was like, okay, this is a movie for kids. I like Tangled now, just saying though. There's one snippet where you see Anna and Elsa's mother looking out a window. At first I thought it was Anna because it's a really quick blip, but no, that's their mother. Like, the mother who died in the beginning of the first one. Looks like we're gonna have some flashbacks here. To the days when Anna and Elsa were kids, and Elsa was hiding her powers. Their mom is looking out this window at this aurora going on. It looks like she's saying something as well. She could be singing. I'm curious as to what's happening happening there. It looks like they're adding lore to the story, and they, they gotta be careful not to retcon anything. And yeah, we are diving into the origin of Elsa's powers, so the crew now has to go on this journey to the north, like the troll said. You must find the truth. Go north, across the enchanted lands, and into the unknown. So it's an adventure movie. An adventure movie with the characters we love from the first one, and probably a few musical numbers in there. Sounds good to me. And once again, we see those symbols that were in the teaser. We see them carved into these obelisks. They look ancient. I read some theories out there, and one of the best ones is that they represent the four seasons of the year. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Which would be pretty cool, and it would make sense regarding the girl from the first teaser. Her what seems like wind powers. Maybe that's an autumn thing or something. Which makes me think, okay, if they were going with the seasons, then I'm guessing summer would be controlling fire, and spring would be like plant life or something. Which I'm not gonna lie, sounds pretty cool, in my opinion. And then at the end of the trailer, we get a a little peek at some of the thrill we're gonna get in this movie.
Elsa is hiding from one of the big giant rock mountain monsters from The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. Totally what that is, by the way. But again, it makes me think, good God, they're really just diving into the whole like Lord of the Rings-esque fantasy adventure thing. That's just really cool. And I also love that it's diving into Norwegian folklore, or at least it seems to be. Like, it's taking real myth and applying it to their Disney. I mean, again, I mean, these stories were always based off of fairy tales, but this is a sequel, so it really could go anywhere. So I'm glad that they're pulling inspiration from real myths. Real myths. That's oxymoronic. You know what I mean, though. In the end, Frozen 2 still looks great. It's probably going to end up being one of my favorite movies of the year. I love the intrigue. I love the adventure aspect. It looks like it's showing. The animation still looks fresh. Music's still good. I'm curious as to whether the next trailer's gonna have the same music or not. And also if Elsa's gonna have any dialogue because we still haven't really heard her say anything in these trailers. But in any case, the official trailer for Frozen 2, it's number one trending on YouTube right now, so I imagine you've seen it. What do you think about it and what are your theories? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.